Local police should be protecting their community. But what if their job instead was to tear it apart? The Trump administration is aggressively working to make that a reality by ramping up a controversial immigration program called 287G. 287G is a program that allows the federal government to deputize state and local law enforcement to act as immigration agents, meaning local police and sheriffs would be in the business of deporting community members in the name of Trump's deportation agenda. The ramifications are severe. This program has resulted in widespread racial profiling and civil rights abuses, the disintegration of trust between immigrant communities and law enforcement, and increased detention and deportation of beloved community members. To understand the harms 287G can create, look no further than Maricopa County, Arizona. There, disgraced former Sheriff Joe Arpaio reveled in racially profiling Latinos in the community. In Sheriff Arpaio's domain, illegal immigration is the top priority, not drugs or kidnappings. I punish them. I'm not ashamed to say it. They did something wrong, they're going to be punished. In 2011, the Department of Justice led an investigation into Maricopa County policing practices and found that officers not only engaged in racial profiling, but also failed to investigate 432 sexual assault cases as a result of focusing too heavily on immigration violations. This program puts all people at risk and does nothing to make our communities safer. It turns our friends and neighbors into targets for deportation and undermines relationships between law enforcement and the communities they are tasked to protect and serve. We already said no to Sheriff Joe. It's time to say no to 287G agreements and find true solutions that promote community safety while protecting immigrant families. Share this video if you agree. 